name is Jillian, or Jill with two exclamation points because that's more fun. And I'm here in New York City in front of the Federal Courthouse, a place I've never been until just now when I decided to take a bath and come clean. Today, I'm going to come clean about a few things. The first thing is my cankles. A cankle is where your calf meets your ankle and you can't really tell where one begins and one ends. So I have those and people always say, no, 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 no. You don't have cankles, you're not heavy. But I, I guess I was a little chub when I was growing up and then I did gymnastics and I think everything just became solid. So always have to wear high heels. I have to be careful about capris. It, you know, it's kind of a problem, but if that's, if that's my biggest issue, then I'm a really lucky girl. Oh, that's good. And we can go forward. Ah. And we can maybe take one leg up. Maybe the other. Ooh. We'll come to the center. Wow. <laughs> and we'll go over to the right. And over to the left. And in the middle. Ooh, I can almost, yes. That's, that defines a good stretch. This is Jill again, speaking to you from the Federal Courthouse in Manhattan. And you watched me come clean. My name is Sandy. I invent crap. We're here in front of the criminal court building where I'm going to tell you how I killed my mother. Inadvertently. I was 18. She and I were having this long distance sort of fight. Uh, she was on some remote Pacific island. I was in San Francisco. Telephone calls were prohibitively expensive then. And so it was mostly by letter. Uh, the uh, argument was over whether or not I was going to Europe or not. I was 18 and full of piss and vinegar. And uh, she became increasingly distraught over this. I. Uh, write a nice little letter to her saying, all right, well, let's both be adults about this. I can defer this if, uh, if you stop yelling. All right. So I stick it in my back pocket and uh, got busy and didn't mail it for a couple of days. Well, she never got the letter and she shot herself because she was distraught. Now, that was not entirely my fault. It might not have had anything to do with me, but there's always that question. You know, killing people is sort of like a theme of my life. I invented something that could save seven million lives a year. It took me 22 years. It's still not entirely out there. It's patented. We can bolt a few. It might help. So technically, if you wanted to add it all up, that would be what? Uh, 154 million people dead because I didn't have my, or uh, <clears throat> my life organized. I guess that makes me a fairly serious mass murderer. Kinda. We're in Manhattan and we're in New York. We're in front of the criminal courthouse. I'm Sandy. I'm going away now. A nice, polite mass murderer going to go have breakfast. It'll be an omelet, probably. A Bloody Mary is a little too early, I think. Hi, this is Manushka coming at you, sitting in the tub. Um, the tombs are right behind me. If you can see it in the background, that's the, it's called the tombs. That's where they hold people when they're waiting for bail. And I'm about to come clean. Well, a while back, I live in that building um, down in Tribeca. And I went out to put the garbage out in the hallway because we have a garbage compactor. It's a building. And I don't know what I was thinking. I was probably drunk. It did not have to be five o'clock for me to start drinking. Uh, my, well, it had to be five o'clock somewhere, but just not in New York. <laughs> and I went out to put the garbage out, and I, end up I ended up locking myself out. Um, and I was in the hallway in underwear. And I did not know how to signal the doorman. So I waited in the stairs. I sat down waiting quietly in the stairs and it had to be for like four hours till my roommate came home. This is Manushka 
saying goodbye, sitting in the tub from Come Clean, and bye-bye. Hi, my name is David Santana, and we're in front of the Supreme Court building in Lower Manhattan on 60 Center Street, uh, also known as the Courthouse Ledges to escape orders. Do you have something that uh, you'd like to come clean about? Something to get off your chest? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. Um, my grandfather died a couple of years ago, uh, about five or six years ago. And um, my mom, uh, she had troubles. No, I don't really want to get into that, but let's just say that even after, after, her, perish, uh, after her perishing, I still haven't completely forgiven her, even though I have told most people that I have. And um, I think I'm just going to live life one day at a time and see if I can get a lot closer to forgiving her. And I think that's uh, about it. And that's what I would like to complain about today. I'd like to complain about um, not completely forgiving my mom. Uh, and I want to, and I'm going to. I just have to live life one day at a time. Uh, it's just a little, it's just a little video clip, that's all. Oh, right on. It's like, you're welcome to, bathtub. you're welcome to get in the bathtub, if you like. Really? Later. Uh, let me, let, let like me finish that. mine, huh? Like, no, 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 no. It, it, and can it's you do small. me a favor and jump out of the shot? Sure. Don't worry.